खुफिया वीडियो देखने से पहले वीडियो को लाइक करें राहम टीवी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें शुक्रिया فقد قال عز وجل في كتاب العزيز بعد عوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لن تنالوا البر حتى تنفقوا مما تحبون وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الا ان الدنيا ملعونه وملعون ما فيها الا ذكر الله وما والاه وعالما ومتعلما وكما قال عليه الصلاه والسلام the goal and the purpose and the objective behind gatherings like these is that how we can empty our hearts uh, from the worldly uh, love, from the worldly desires, and from the worldly name, gain, and fame, how we can empty our hearts from that, and how we can all bring in the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within our hearts. And this is the goal and the sole purpose behind gatherings like this, where how we can empty out this heart from the world and whatever it contains, and bring in the love and the muhabba of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bring in the love and the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the things that harms a person and puts a barrier between his love for Allah and puts a barrier between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the love of this world, is the love of wealth. And we know that for wealth, for money, a person can do anything. Right? If the person has love for wealth, he will do anything for it. There won't be any barriers in front of him that can stop him from anything like that. Right? From him to achieve his goal. Whether it may be a source of halal or whether it may be a source of haram, he won't care. Because the love of wealth has been deeply down inside of his heart. Now a person who works towards bringing the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his heart, at the same time it would be very difficult. Because either only the love of Allah can be in there or either the love of wealth can be in there. So we have to be very, very careful as to how knowing and, and, and acknowledging how to remove this, this filth, removing this, this, this desire and, and, and the love of this dunya and the love of wealth. Right? And of course, a person who is miserly, a person who is a stingy, it's because he loves wealth. Right? It's because he, he doesn't worry about, he doesn't care about, uh, you know, him is spending in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For him is just to accumulate more and more and more. That's what in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about uh, in Surah Al-Takathur, Al-Hakum Al-Takathur, Hatta Zurtum Al-Maqabir. In there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know, it has taken you away, it has moved you away. The, the, the love of abundance and accumulating. And for some of us it's what? Many of us it's what? Accumulating wealth, more and more money, more and more money. And a person can only be miserly when he loves wealth, right? And he doesn't want to spend it in any cause. He doesn't want to spend it in any way. And that's why when it's been written, it's been mentioned, that when a person who is miserly, a bakhil person, a stingy person, when he's passing away, when he's dying, he looks at his wealth. And he's very much upset at the fact that how hard he worked towards accumulating this, how hard he worked towards gathering this. And now he has to part away from it. And now he has to leave it all behind him. And he doesn't want to be taken away from this world. So the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ is true, where the Prophet ﷺ says that a person who is bakhil, who is a stingy, at the time of his death, he doesn't want to leave from this world, and he doesn't want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such a person who doesn't want to meet Allah, he is from the people of Jahannam. At the time of his at the time when he is leaving this world, he doesn't want to meet Allah. He has no desire to meet Allah. Such a person is from the people of Jahannam. And that could only, only be there is when our hearts is filled with these types of loves. When our hearts are filled with the love for this world, the love for accumulating, and the love for gathering more and more and more. Right? That's why the ayah that I had recited towards the beginning, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you can never reach the highest pinnacle and, 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 and the heights of, 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 of taqwa, of piety, and, 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 and righteousness, until and unless you do not give in the path of Allah that which you love. Until and unless you do not give in the path of Allah that which you love. For some of us, it may not be wealth. We may not like wealth, right? Very hard to tell and very hard to, you know, 
may be the case for some of us, but for some of us, it may be companionship for some of us. Our friends, we are not ready to give them up, right? Or for some, for some of us, it may be our time, right? حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ This infaq here is not just literally in spending in the path of Allah. Yes, which is the, the broader definition and, 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 and the meaning that the Mufassirin have taken. But here, and when this ayah was revealed to the Prophet وسلم, in the narration, it comes. There was a Sahabi with the name of Abu Talha radiallahu an. He was an Ansari Sahabi. So Abu Talha radiallahu anhu, he had a very beautiful garden, right? And this garden, uh, in the narration, it comes the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He would go into this garden, and it was right in front of Masjid al Nabawi. It was right in front of Masjid al Nabawi, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would go there, and he would drink from the water, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would stay there, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved it very much as well. So when this ayah revealed, was revealed, this Sahabi Abu Talha radiallahu anhu, he thinks to himself that Allah is saying that I cannot reach the highest and, 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 and the pinnacles of, 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 of righteousness and of taqwa and piety until I don't donate and until I don't give in the path of Allah that which I love. So he comes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and he says, Ya Nabi Allah, Allah Ta'ala is mentioning this and this ayah was revealed upon you Ya Nabi Allah. Ya Nabi Allah, I love this garden very much. And in the narration it comes, he was from amongst the richest Sahaba in uh, the Ansari Sahaba, amongst the richest Sahaba in, in Medina al Munawwara. So he comes to the Prophet وسلم, and he says, Ya Nabi Allah, this garden is now sadaqah for the path of Allah. This garden is sadaqah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah wa ta'ala is saying what? That you cannot reach the highest level of piety and righteousness until and unless you do not give in the path of Allah. So these individuals, of course, we learn from them and we learn from their examples that these people, the only love they wanted to bring in their hearts was the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only person, the only being they wanted to be close to was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For them, the world and whatever it contained did not matter. That's why the Sahabi was ready to give it up. He hears this ayah and he's ready to give it up. Right? Now we check the level of our iman, the level of our faith. That when we are uh, told about in a specific verse, when we are told about not lying, when we are told about not cheating, when we are told about spending in the path of Allah, when we are told about not accumulating more and more for ourselves and for our families, are we motivated to give in the path of Allah? Are we motivated to come forth and connect ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes or no? So that's why it is very, very important that we empty our hearts out. The purpose and the goal is that we empty our hearts out from the love of this world and whatever it contains. The Prophet ﷺ in one hadith, he said, أَلَا إِنَّ الدُّنْيَا حَلْوَةٌ خَضَرَةٌ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى مُسْتَخْلِفُكُمْ فِيهَا فَيَنْظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ In this Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, Indeed, this dunya is very beautiful. It's green. You look at it, the minute you step out the masjid, mashallah, nice tall buildings, people having this business and driving this car and that car, living in this house and that mansion. Right? It's very beautiful. It calls you towards, it's inclining, it brings you towards itself. The Prophet ﷺ said, Allah has kept you in it, فَيَنْظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ So that Allah Ta'ala can see how you, what you do, or how you live your life. Do you go after this, or do you go away from it, getting to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? Do you go away from it, trying to recognize Allah Ta'ala? Do you go away from it, to achieve Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? Do you go away from it, to get the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? فَيَنْظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ So the Prophet ﷺ said, fear this dunya. Stay away from this dunya as much as you can. May Allah give me and all of us the ability to empty our hearts out from the love of this world and from the love of wealth, inshallah. Amin ya rabbal alameen.